So, we have, we have a video course on uh, differential equations for engineers and in this course uh, you have learnt uh, how to solve uh, differential equations, ordinary differential equations as well as uh, partial differential equations. We started with the definition of differential equations and uh, we consider first order ordinary differential equations uh, that can be linear or non-linear when we have uh, provided certain uh, form of uh, equations, uh, first order equations all the equations that certain equations that can be solved analytically. So, we have given methods to solve those kind those type of first order equations and then we looked at the second order equations, second order equations uh, any order in for that matter any nth order differential equation you can, can you can convert into first order uh, ordinary differential equation, but as a equation for the vector valued function that means you have a system of uh, first order uh, coupled equations ok. You have a system of coupled equations that is how uh, that is what it becomes uh, any nth order equation and uh, so that is the general uh, nth order equation. But if you consider linear uh, nth order equation or a second order equation, you, so that is actually a linear equation has certain properties. So, one of the important properties if you are given one solution and it always one of the important properties it should have only 2 linear independent solutions. So, once you get 2 linear independent solutions you can make a linear combination and you can write it as a general solution with 2 arbitrary constants. So, in the process we uh, we devised uh, an Abel's formula, we derived a uh, Abel's formula and uh, if you are given one solution through which uh, through this Abel's formula we can find the other solution. And uh, so, certain simpler uh, equations linear equations we solved and uh, and when you cannot find any solution we have actually devised uh, we, we found uh, through power series method we find both the two linear independent solutions and in the so when that depends on the point of uh, whether you have a singular point or not. If you do not have singular points you can actually find two linear independent solution as a power series solutions. If you have a singular point around that point either this side or that side you can have a so uh, you can have solutions two linear independent solutions that is by the uh, Frobenius method motivated by this Euler Cauchy equation ok. So, we uh, we had uh, this uh, base this whatever uh, methods we have uh, power series method and Frobenius series method uh, based on this we actually used uh, some physical equations uh, such as legendary equation and Bessel equation. We applied these methods and find the solutions and bounded solutions only we consider and defined them as uh, Legendre polynomials and uh, Bessel functions. Okay, these are these play important role in the physical and uh, physical sciences. That's where you see whenever you you see in many physical situations, these kind of equations play a, a, an important role that you have actually seen in the partial differential equation. When you when you consider boundary initial value problems for certain uh, partial differential equation, uh, heat equation or uh, wave equation, you you may come across this kind of uh, ordinary differential equations. Okay, and then. So, based on so, so something to do with the second order uh, uh, ordinary differential equations, we have given certain properties. So, so, that property is putting into the normal form. When you put it in the normal form, analogous to the uh, symmetric uh, matrices, uh, that is where you have the eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, as a real values, and uh, uh, eigenvalues are real, completely real, and you can find you can have all the eigenvectors. So, based on analogous to this matrix theory using that analogous to the matrix theory we have certain uh, second order differential equations that uh, that is always we can always put it in this uh, symmetric form. So, that you can find always eigenvalues and eigenvectors that form uh, complete orthogonal uh, eigenvectors ok eigenfunctions here because uh, it is uh, not simply finite dimensional as a in the, in the case of like in the matrices is a for its uh, solutions of the differential equations. So, the solutions can be from a, a space of uh, functions of uh, that is infinite dimensional. So, you have the, so based on this property that you have eigenvalues and eigenfunctions you see that the term level is you developed the term level theory which is eventually be used to find the solutions of the partial differential equations ok. So, we started with the second order uh, partial differential equations we classify them we always uh, by in the classification we, we translate it into new variables instead of uh, independent variables we change to new variables. In the new variables it will be one of the typical forms either wave equation, heat equation or uh, Laplace equation type or the or hyperbolic, parabolic or elliptic. So, one of these three types of equations we have uh, uh, the typical equations that we have considered are wave equation, heat equation and uh, uh, I mean the prototype equation 
uh, for these type three types of equations are uh, wave equation, heat equation and Laplace equation and for each of these uh, equations we have considered initial value problems and our initial boundary value problems based on the domain, spatial domain and time is always positive okay that happened for uh, heat and uh, wave equations because you see these are two different things so in the so and for the Laplace equation this is a kind of uh, steady state uh, heat equation uh, when you and the steady state is reached for the heat equation that is actually a wave equation when you reach the steady state for the heat equation that is a Laplace equation. So Laplace equation you can only provide the boundary data and you could uh, find you can find the solutions unique solutions only in certain domains that we have seen in this course okay and also as an F in the applications you can see that uh, many of the problems that I have solved are having applications in the physical and engineering sciences such as drum problem. So vibrations of a string, vibrations of drum, a drum, a two dimensional uh, wave equation and also that, that is where uh, you solved uh, you bring in always uh, sturm lewis problems either of the type that, uh, that we have uh, studied okay. So you see that most of the problems that I've, we have uh, studied are basically from physical uh, sciences so that is really useful for you to if you uh, if you are actually involved in uh, if you are if you are in some project some project uh, if you are working with some uh, differential equation working with some model so the partial differential equation uh, so typically if you if you encounter a problem if you encounter a, or if you are working with a partial differential equation okay that can be any one of the three types so for this if you if you can uh, do some transformation and uh, reduce to one of these problems you can make use of these methods in your uh, in your in your work otherwise what is if you really want to so further in further to this course you can also uh, look at uh, uh, certain equations nonlinear equations okay nonlinear partial differential equations you can study main thing is you have to understand uh, not just methods and uh, solutions and also look at the uh, characteristics of these methods uh, of these equations they have uh, certain properties each each equation is different from the other so if you start with the wave equation you can see that uh, the speed of uh, speed uh, you have the speed speed of propagation that means you have a characteristic variables you have a eta and xi xi and eta are two new variables they have they are actually x minus ct and x plus ct so they have these are the characteristic equations so whenever they have so they, they propagate it has a finite uh, speed of propagation as you can see for the wave equation but it is not the case for the parabolic equation so where you have ut and uxx you have and you see that whenever you have uh, this uh, you do not have uh, characteristics here but you see uh, you have an infinite speed of propagation you have whatever happens here it infinitely in no time if you have a discontinuity in the initial domain and it smoothens out in no time. So as t uh, for said after finite time you all this uh, whatever you give an initial data as a, in, as a discontinuous things discontinuous initial data will be smoothened out that means it will be differentiable but that is not the case for the wave equation if you give the initial data has having some kind of uh, discontinuity okay suppose you give u of x0 uh, equal to fx that fx is a uh, piecewise continuous function for example. So as time goes still this discontinuity will propagate with the speed of propagation okay that is c that is how hyperbolic equation behave. So these parabolic equations behave like a heat equation uh, is actually in the heat equation you see that uh, diffusive equation we call it diffusive equation okay heat equation and, uh, and we have seen the Laplace equation so that is an, a typical elliptic equation where you see that uh, boundary data should only be provided as the steady state heat equation. So when you achieve the steady state in the heat equation that is exactly the Laplace equation that we have solved by these methods. You may encounter if you encounter any of these equations so these methods can be useful I suggest you to look into other books uh, advanced books on further to on, and uh, study further on these equations okay uh, and, uh, and also you can look into the books uh, partial differential equation books on uh, nonlinear equations okay so thank you very much. Mm -hmm.